Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Happy 2023. I hope you have a great year. Let's start it with some more sponsorship changes. Thanks to all of you tennis nerds on Instagram who keep me posted on some of these that I miss. There's so much going on at the beginning of the season, so it's hard to keep up. But before we go into the sponsorship changes, I want to notice that Maxim Cressy, although he did lose against the Tanasi Kokinakis in Adelaide, a funny thing about him is that he's actually using a different string tension for serving and receiving. So he changes his racket every game. And as you can see in this picture, he has a racket next to the court, so he can do that without much effort. And it's a very interesting strategy. My assumption is that he would use a lower tension to get more pop on the serve, maybe a little bit more feel on volleys, for his aggressive game and to get more control when he's returning. So he has a higher tension for returning, lower tension for serving. Not seen this before. Usually they change when they're new balls, they get the fresh strings. That is common. Federer kind of started that, I think. Probably someone before him, but uh, he's quite famous for it. So if you've seen this or anything similar to this before, let me know in the comments, but it's quite interesting to see him do that. Talking about sponsorships, he doesn't seem to be sponsored at all. He's using a Bubble Up Pure Aero 2016 Solinko strings and a Technifiber bag. So it looks quite funny for a professional player to have three different brands. Usually they are sponsored all over, but uh, not in the case with Maxime Cressy. Quite an interesting player. Talked about him before, like watching him. It's nice to have someone who's playing serve and volley tennis in 2023. Luca Pui, remember him? We haven't seen much of him. He has had elbow issues for most of his career, quite severe ones, and he has a great talent for the game, but you haven't seen much of him in the recent years. He did make a switch from his Prince Extreme Tour 100p, which he played for a long time to the Bubble Pure Drive. But now he's back with the Prince. Uh, he's old rackets playing challengers and I wish him all the best. I think it makes sense with all these elbow issues he's had. I don't know if he had a much softer layup uh, so the racket played really soft. I don't know, but it did look a bit strange to have uh, severe elbow problems and be playing with a babla. According to my friends on Instagram, Tim van Rijthofen, he did beat Daniel Medvedev to win Hertogenbosch uh, in last year. Now he's switching from the East zone which uh, was heavily leaded up. He used the Yonex E-Zone 98 with lots of lead tape on it. Now he's apparently switching to Dunlop. I haven't seen any picks to confirm this, but I have some trusted sources and we will watch him now play in Chennai in India and uh, we'll see what racket he switches to, whether it's like some pro stock of the Dunlop FX500 Tour uh, like Alexei Popperin or if it's a CX line, the more control oriented uh, Dunlop. So. Curious to watch him, fun player to watch, exciting on the court, so uh, keep your eyes on him for the upcoming season. Talking about Dunlop and talking about Poprin, Poprin started well, his new Dunlop FX500 Tour strung with Luxland 4G, which was his old string, and uh, he actually managed to win his first match, big match, against Felix Auger Aliasim, who had a stellar 2022 season. So this bodes well for Poprin's season, obviously playing at home, he will give him some extra energy. Huge forehand, uh, fun to watch, also considering this change from the PT57A uh, with a high swing weight to this Dunlop FX500 Tour. Samsonova posted on Instagram and you will see some, uh, some sponsorship changes via Instagram that she is moving from Wilson to Head. Don't know exactly which racket. It's so difficult because what they endorse and what they play with is different. So they could put her on one line when she's actually using another line. Hopefully not, but in some cases that happens. There are definitely more sponsorship changes to come and to be seen in 2023. Thanks to all of you who submit them and keep me posted. This kick starts 2023 in Tennis Nerd videos. A lot more to come. Testing a lot of rackets at the moment, strings and shoes. So there's plenty of content to look forward to. If you want the first impressions and a bit of a different take of everything I do, you go to patreon.com slash tennis nerd and you support tennis nerd and you get loads of extra content. That's it. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.